Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, let's uh, continue the stuff we started last week. And uh, we got up to uh, ward off in the Yong Cheng Fu form and uh, ward off with, uh, with uh, right arm. And let's do some more of that and kind of go in deeper, we're kind of going to go in the back door on this by getting very yin, kind of like what we did last week also. So we're we're going to start with that. We're going to get to uh, uh, a very yin meditation, a metal and earth meditation, and as a way of getting, clearing the buffer. And uh, and then we'll go through the Yang Ching Fu form once, and then we'll... Uh, We'll take a look at the uh, the ward off posture in the in that form, and see about being able to access the pong jin in the uh, in the form while being you know super uh, sung, very you know kind of very uh, very relaxed and 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 centered. So let's uh, let's stand up and uh, get get after it. There's a, a message. Can you go through the properties of metal? Oh, okay, sure. Okay, so uh, request to go through the properties of metal. So in uh, we're talking about uh, metal. The metal energy is it's the simplest of the energy, and it's just down, right? It just boom. So it the characteristic of the season of fall and. Um, it, everything is, and it's very abrupt. It's not uh, uh, like some of the some of the energy just moves through, and but this one is like boom. It picks a spot, and like like a hammer striking a nail. It's like bang, and there's a uh, uh, a short and and very precise um, movement there with a stopping point. So you pick a spot and bam, that's it. You know that that's your metal. It uh, you know it's down is the you know the classic way of thinking, but you can also extend metal in other directions as well. Once you grasp the the quality of the of the energy, so it does. It's not always manifested or, or used as down, but that's that's how we're gonna do it. And that means getting really sung into the into your body, I mean, dropping down and ah, really feeling into that, settling down in. And uh, and we're going to combine that with earth. And uh, earth is, gives form to everything. It's like all the, uh, all the elements together uh, form earth, kind of like all the colors uh, uh, when they combine together, they make white. Well, this is this is all the elements together. They make earth, but earth also has a, a yin quality of its own. It's the most yin, you know. It pulls you down, and so we so we have both these qualities of downness. And uh, I, I brought it up last week because you know sometimes when we we're doing all this wood stuff, it's up and out, and it's like ah, really expansive, and and it can be a bit much. And so we want to be able to balance it out by having this, this complementary energy, which kind of, ah, oh, it calms it, calms the energy down, brings it back into, you know, uh, into your lower body. Particularly, it gets you out of the, uh, the expansiveness of the wood. It, it uh, takes you down into your lower dantian. So you get to, Ah, uh, you're really feeling, you're moving from, from here, you're sinking down through your feet and into the earth. So let's, uh, uh, let's do this. So first we'll get a, uh, uh, our three pillars in and to accentuate the yin, and we will be going back to our more yang wood energy soon, but the one just this week, I want you to really accentuate the yin by locating your, centering your, your weight in your heels. We usually have it alternating between the heels and the balls of the feet, with the balls of the feet being more young and expansive and 
and heel being more yin and contractive. So we're going to sink into the heels and, and but we're still gonna maintain our central equilibrium there. And usually I teach you central equilibrium by getting into the balls of the first because most people, when they, you tell them to get in their heels, they just kind of rock back and they kind of they kind of lock up. But we want to be able to go in the heels yet still maintain our central equilibrium. So if you notice my body, if I'm in my heels, I'm still centered, right? I'm not, I'm not leaning back to, uh, to get that. Um, so, so feeling the, uh, you're centering into your heels, reaching with the crown of the head. So that's, you know, that's raising the head and reaching upward, tucking in the chin and opening the jade pillow gate. And throughout this, we want to keep that as a constant. That's our North Star. We're reaching up there with the crown of the head. And that is the one yang pole that is pulling everything up. And that's creating a, a, a two pole system there. Even though most of our energy is sinking down, down, down into, into our feet, into our heels, we're reaching up with that crown as a counterbalance to it. It's sort of like in a yin yang symbol, wherever you have the the black head becomes of the of the fish becomes very very large, and and the white tail is just very tiny, and that's kind of what we're seeing: the the black being yin and and the white being yang. So, you do that. Tuck in the chin. Open the jade pillow gate. Point and reach with your index fingers, and reach with the elbows a little bit. Opening the shoulder joints and move a bit from the from the hip joints. Feel your yao, your 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 coccyx and tailbone. Feel that turning the body as you as you're moving it and releasing at the uh, at the qua at the hip joint so that there's no re resistance there. And step out. And reestablish your three pillars here. You're feeling into your heels. Knees are unlocked. Sinking, sinking, sinking. You're feeling that metal energy pulling down. Even though you're reaching up with that crown of the head, everything else is really down, down, down. You can, if you feel into your hands, you can feel the circulation, really. Your hands are starting to fill up with, uh, with blood and, uh, and chi as you do that. And the more you, the more you get sung, the more you release into your structure, the, the more the energy flows. So the more down we get, the more the yin chi rises and fills your body. Earth provides us the, the structure. So whenever we boom, drop our, our metal, there's a, the earth is what's there to uh, provide a form to catch it. So we're not lying in a puddle on the floor. We're actually releasing down into a very relaxed and very strong structure. Place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose. Breathe deep into your lower dantian, below your navel. Feel your diaphragm pressing down on your, on your belly. If you can, feel it pressing all the way down to your hui yin. That's that point right at uh, between the, uh, the anus and the genitals, the perineum. Feel the pressure from the uh, the diaphragm pushing down, going all the way down to there. And this is going to accentuate the yin. Getting this yin, this extreme yin state that we're we're pushing right now is uh, gives you a point of reference, a frame of reference to uh, so whenever you do go to a yang expansion. 
you'll know you'll notice the difference. You'll notice that oh, this is very different from that the yin sinking that I'm doing right now. So stop engaging your shoulders. Really just keep your elbows set and just bend from the elbows and reach with your wrists. And just bring your hands up to just about belt high. And feel the weight of your arms, your hands. Feel the sensations in your hands. Tingling, pulsing, sense of fullness. Feel the blood circulating in your forearms. Feel it sinking into your bone marrow. We're allowing the body to fill up with the earth chi. And even though our weight's in the heels, the chi is coming up through the, the uh, bubbling well points in the, in, the, uh, in the center of the foot. It's rising and the yang chi is descending, is going out to that same, same hole there. Reach forward and go back a little bit, just sink back and just pull back with your hands and go forward with your body a little bit. Just enough to stimulate the the energy. And your hands come down. And really just feel that release downward. Your arms aren't completely collapsed. You're not holding there. You still have some structure. We still have, have some earth there in the, in the arms. And that enables us to really, you know, open the shoulder joints. You can reach out a little bit with the elbows. Hands come up. They're bending at the elbow first. Reach with the wrist. So notice that my fingers are just hanging. And just bring it up to about chest height. Lower part of your chest. Reach out with the fingers. Reach with the elbows. Open the joints. Feel the metal in your arms, that heaviness there. And the more we do this, the more we get that steel bar wrapped in cotton idea that is characteristic of, of the internal arts, where the bones become very dense, the bone marrow becomes very vibrant, producing Lots of really um, energetic blood cells that circulate throughout the body. Bring your right arm down and then very slowly reach with the wrist. Feel your finger dangling, your elbow is dropped, so your elbow is reaching actually, it's not dropped, it's reaching. And But the wrist is coming up and rotate your forearm 
So the back of your hand is reaching forward. The palm of your hand is facing your chest on your center line. You rotate your right palm down, reform palm down, and then it presses down and your left hand very slowly, very softly, reach with the wrists, reach with the fingers, rotate the forearm. You'll feel that if you're extending Yeah. Reach with your index finger, point and reach with your index finger of your left hand as you're doing that. You just feel into that shape. You're using the least amount of energy you can, the least amount of muscular force to hold this shape. That's why everything is really sung, very dropped. So point the finger of your right hand, the index finger of your right hand. And start to reach with the right wrist and the left hand comes down. And then rotate the forearm so the palm is facing you. And feel that connection. Feel the connection between both hands. Left. Left index finger, reach with that, point, reach with that. Reach with the left wrist, it coming up and uh, rotate the forearm. Feel the hands talking to each other. Feel the, the pulsing, tingling in both hands. As they're both engaged in this process, they become part of one system. You're know, connecting up your whole body, and there is a uh, an energy field that is that is that connects both both the hands. So now feel the heel of your left foot, set your left knee and spiral down to the left. Use your yao, your, your tailbone to turn your body. Sink into that left leg and pick up your right heel, but feel the floor is very sticky. The earth is pulling down. Your, your, your foot comes up, you're picking up the heel and it really doesn't wanna go, but you're gonna, uh, you're gonna pick it up and step forward with your right foot. And as you do that, you reach with that right elbow a little bit, feel that right wrist, and uh, turn and reach. Rotate the forearm and sink into that right leg. And sink into your right leg Set the, the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, use your yaw to turn and feel that left foot coming up. Very, it's very reluctant to move, but here it comes. Keep your body centered over, over your right heel. So, and then you're stepping, feel the heel of the left foot, push your left knee forward, Set that and release your left claw, spiraling down to the right, turning using your yaw, reach with that left elbow. And then, ah, now reaching with the left wrist. And now reach with the fingers. Feel the heel of the left foot, spiral down to the left. Sink into your left heel, your left claw. Feel that 
Right foot, peeling that up off the floor, feeling it pulling, the earth pulling, but you're reaching, feel that metal and earth energy just pulling you down, but you're gonna feel the heel of the right foot, push your right knee forward, set that spiral down to the left. And loading up that right leg and then reach with the right elbow, right wrist, rotate the forearm and feel that, feel the connection between the two hands. Feel your shoulders relaxed, soft, sinking. And then Step up with your left foot. Feel, feel the metal, feel the earth, the down, down, down. Keep reaching with that crown, reaching up, feeling that young connection Feel the chi in your hands. Step in, let your right leg step in with your left foot. And you go to the balls of your feet as your arms come up. Feel the young expansion as your hands come up. And good your heels and ah, uh, down, down, down. Feel all the energy moving down, clearing. Opening space. Feel the aliveness in your body as the, the chi is circulating throughout the whole system. Now we're going to uh, do the Yang Cheng Fu form. Very, very yin. Similar kind of idea here, keeping this quality, of an exaggerated yin quality. But the Yang Cheng Fu ordinarily is a very big and young form, and we're going to go the opposite direction now. It's going to be a much quieter, softer feel to it, much more flowing. Okay, I'll turn my back to you so you can follow along. Really empty out to begin. We're beginning in Wu Chi, the just kind of the undifferentiated nothingness. Emptying out. Begin. You can do this nice and slow, so you can really get a chance to dissolve into the yin. Take a yin bath.
Great. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, at the uh, uh, word off of the right arm, and uh, we're going from. I'll do a facing you. We're going from. Um, we're going from the uh, strike with back fist and circle. We come up and punch, and then uh, uh, we go into port off from there. So we're coming from from the punch. Step up and punch, circle. Okay, and, and come around like this. Ordinarily, you know, I would do it much bigger, be much, much more of a, you know, uh, you know, a big posture like this, much more young, and step, and comes. This is more of a, a characteristic move for the uh, for the Yang Chen Fu form. But today we're doing it really nice and soft and yin. And a bit smaller too. You know, it's not as big and expansive. And that's because we want to kind of enter into the the Pong Jin, the uh, ward off posture from the back door. So rather than beginning and going through the choreography and begin, let's just start from from here. So we have this, we have this. In fact, let's forget the uh, let's forget the left hand and just we're just what do just what we were doing before, which is that is we're going to feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiraling down to the left. So you're loading up that that right leg, spiraling down to the left. So your your right arm is hanging down, not entirely hanging. It's it's the elbow is reaching out a little bit, but you can feel the the weight of the arm. You can feel that it wants it wants to go down and continue down, but the earth energy allow you know gives you the form so it says no no not so fast, buddy, Mister Metal. We're we want to feel that to get that, but we're going to energize this now. We're going to turn, and the elbow is set, and Reach with the wrist as you turn and rotate so your your body is facing forward and your palm is right over that center line there. Notice that even though my arm is very relaxed, my elbow is down. Notice it's not not collapsed, right? So I've got I've got the earth allows me to have a structure here and it allows that that form to create circulation some full of some flow if i have it completely down it the the energy is much less so if i have it out here like that and the other thing is really key to this is that that feeling that reaching and feeling that index finger so that you're what happens here is then this everything becomes one unit, becomes coherent, and uh, so the um, we even without the big move we have power just in just in this. It's kind of like in in tennis where you can get. You can make a, a great shot with a very short volley where you're just taking the rack and you're going like that. And you can you can hit the ball quite hard that way. But if you really want to crank it, you really want to want to socket, you want to get the into the into the quad, and then you're you're turning and you're bringing the racket out like this, and you're boom, your whole body gets into it. So whenever we do the form, we're gonna get that mm, that whole body into it. But for right now, just to explore the the subtlety of the Pong Jin, the the up and out energy. That's a Yang energy. It's coming up and up, but it's it's a Yin form. 
So the more yin this form is, the more metal and earth we pack into this, you know, then it really accentuates that quiet yang chi that's coming up there in, in the pong chin. So let's go back and you're keeping your, your weight in that front leg and the heel of the front foot spiral down to the left. So you're loading up that front leg again, reaching with the elbow a little bit. And just feel the weight of your arm. Feel the circulation there. Feel the energy circulating. And then now you're going to turn. Use your yao to turn your body and soften, get very sung at the, at the qua. And you're reaching with the wrist. The fingers are still just kind of very soft and hanging, but you're reaching, pointing and reaching with the index finger. And then you continue to turn until your facing forward and your arm is reaching out. And so you have this kind of posture. So the, the, the notice that the hand is still extended in front of the chest, uh, but the, and the elbow is, is dropped, but it's not collapsed. So we wanna have this, this quality there. So you're, oh, you're coming up like that. So there's several things that are going on with this, this, this movement going beyond just the energy. There is a bio uh, mechanical thing here. You're reaching with the elbow, setting that, opening the shoulder joint by doing that. So the chi is moving through the arm and filling up. Without reaching with the elbow, if you just collapse the elbow, then the energy disappears. But if you get that and you're reaching out there a little bit, it's like, oh, okay, that, then the, the, the whole arm immediately gets filled up. It's like filling up the garden hose. The hose gets, you know, very full and rigid, you know, from, from the water pressure inside. And whereas if you, you put a hole in it, you know, and then it just collapses the whole structure. So we get this, uh, we create this form with our earth chi. We have the metal there, which is pulling down and uh, giving us this, a lot of sung here. But all this serves the, the expansive energy of the pong jin as you're going up here. Okay, so, so that's, our, that's our, our energy there. So going back a step, so we, uh, we come from, from here, so we're in the back leg, and we're, the hands are, like you're holding a big ball, but the left hand is up here around collarbone height, maybe a little lower. The right hand is down below your navel, down at your lower dantian. And so we're loading up the left leg now. So we're preparing to go into that right leg. So notice we're working backward. We're coming into the back door here. We're going. We're starting at the end and we're moving. We're rolling the film backward. So we we're in that left leg and just feel yourself sinking into that. Feel the 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 down energy from the from the metal and the and the earth. Feel the earth attraction there. And now feel the heel of the the right foot. Feel the heel of the right foot. Push your right knee forward and set that. You're loading up that right leg, feeling the, you know, it's really established in there. And you're feel, you're spiraling down to the left. So notice we're in the left, push that knee forward. We're still in the left, only we're, we've shift, shifted the legs. So now we're in the right quad instead of the left quad. And now we're going to begin and activate, so using the yao to turn the body, we reach out a little bit with the right elbow, and that right arm is still hanging down there, and notice that it's rotated, the palm is kind of facing the floor, the finger's actually pointing down a little bit in this, and I'm turning, as I turn, there's a rotation of the forearm, I reach with the wrist, my wrist is still soft and I reach pointing with that index finger to get that energetic coherence and I come around 
and finish up with my right hand facing the center of my chest, my left hand, the palm of my left hand facing the palm of my right hand. So you can see you know, the, the shape at the, uh, when I'm completing here, see what this, the right arm is out here like this, and the left hand is like that. So you get your, you get, you're creating a little cantaloupe shape size ball of chi between the palms. So going back into that, so we're, we're here, left leg, so loading up that left quad, the left knee is set, you're really feeling down, feeling the down of the, of the metal energy. You set the right, the, the right heel and push your right knee forward. And as you do that, you're spiraling down to the left. You, you're yao to turn your body to the left and you sink into that right quad. The knee doesn't collapse. The knee stays set here. So this is only turns as much as your quad will let you. This is all the part of your quad goes, that's fine. You know, I've been doing this a while so I can, I can kind of re really release down there and, and sink into that. So, and I do it exaggerated so you can see it as well. But so I'm here, that right, arm is 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 down there the fingers are, are down and i turn use my yao and i'm turning my body to the right and ah that reset that right elbow reach with the right wrist and finish so there we have the we're, we're back into our ward off with the right arm posture that index finger pointing creates energetic coherence and in the structure and also activates the tensegrity of the structure. So you get that kind of really so soft power, but very, um, you know, that uh, tensile strength, uh, more like a bamboo than an oak. And it's, it, but it coming from the chi that is pumping through it, you're creating jin by getting the energy going that together. Okay, so now we're going to back up even more. We're going to go back to, we're going to go back to, uh, to the, the punch. So the left foot is forward and your right hand is reaching. Your, and here we're going to uh, sink into your right heel and set your right knee spiraling down to the right. And as you do that, the left hand, notice the elbow is staying set here and I just reach up, circle up with my left hand like this and reach out. So it's just oh, circling like that. So I'm here like this, my left hand circles up and my right hand, as I turn, it comes to the side and makes a vertical circle. So if you see it this way, I'm here like this, left hand circles up like that, right hand comes down, circles down like this. Okay, so you're here, so you're sinking to your right foot, right knee, spiral down to the left, left hand circles up, right hand, as your body turns, the right hand circles down and comes all the way around to here, okay? which point you're in, in familiar territory again, because now you're going to pivot on the left heel, set the left knee, and spiral down to the left, okay? And here we're going to pick up the right foot and step forward. We're spiraling down to the left, right, right heel, right, right knee, spiral down to the left, and set your right elbow and turn and ward off with the left hand. Okay, let's do that again. So we're left foot forward. I'll do it this way this time. Right heel, let the right knee spiral down to the right. Left hand circles up. Right hand 
Those around to the side. And this can be bigger whenever we get into a more of a young expression of this, but for our purposes today, it's going to be nice and soft. Pivot on the left heel. Left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, and come forward with your right foot, and then step up. So you can either make it one big step, or you can step up and then step forward from there. Both are correct. So you're loading up that left claw now. You feel the right heel, put your right knee forward, set that, and spiral down to the left. Use your yao to turn. Load up that right leg now. You're feeling the energy, the metal, the earth there, and then you use your yao to turn. Reach with your right elbow, your right wrist. Rotate the forearm. Reach with your finger, fingers, and ward off with the right hand. Okay. All right, let's call it a day here. So take a deep breath, come in, and press down, clear the energy. Pause a moment, just feel that energy circulating throughout the whole system, bringing renewed vigor and vitality throughout the whole, your whole body mind. Feel that, uh, that expression of, of yin chi giving this, this whole new sense of uh, renewal that comes with that. Okay, please sit down, let's uh, compare notes. How was that? Good. Not not TMI. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cause yeah. Um, oh. Really, really wanted to uh, you know focus on the minutia, focus on the details. Cool. I like, I like to say heaven is in the details. Okay. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, there, were, there were some points there that I hadn't that I had that that cleared up for me that I, I didn't quite understand where what we were doing. I was just going through the motions on a couple of those couple of those spots. So definitely helpful for me. Good, good, excellent. You know, I can find it a challenge uh, to lose my finger when I initiate with the wrist. It's almost as if the wrist becomes like what the finger is, like the leading point of, you know, initiation, and then the finger gets lost. But I, I guess the structure should never get lost, I suppose. I mean, do you, do you lose uh, contact me, with your finger a little bit? Uh, the, you're, you're right. So, you know, our consciousness is very limited in its bandwidth. So as we're doing, we're, we're focusing on one thing and you know, we're uh, editing out all the other stuff. And so the finger does, it takes a, a secondary posture, which is great because once you get up to that place here and then you go, oh, you know, now you reach with that finger and boom, it kind of pushes it to 11. It's yeah, one I more. Mean, it's, but it's, it's like the wrist is pulling the finger from the other end. You know, it's like yes. pulling it in almost a little bit. So it's, it's yes, like yes. But then, then the finger finally says, "Oh no, no, I want my moment," and it reaches yeah, yeah, out. Right, right, right. It needs to reclaim it's like, its moment. Ah, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it goes. It's like yes, ah. and, and, <laughs> and the whole puzzle yeah. comes together. That final okay. piece is <laughs> is there. It's like yes, we are now in total wholeness at this point, and so it. Uh, <clears throat> 
Yeah, that, that was a, it was a, an evolution of my thinking because I always said, "Oh, just lead with the finger." But no, it it it, it actually gets in the way if if it's leading the band. It's not. Uh, it it's there for the that final breathtaking solo rather than the right. <laughs> you know, else has the, the solo for a moment and then it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Right, you got. You got you know, got to get everybody all the pieces together, and it kind of <laughs> kicks it in for that over the top. So, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just one way of looking at it. The you know, it's it's always there, and it's always doing. You know, you're always feeling the coherence, but it uh, having as a, your point of mental focus that comes right at the end there. But you, it, you, the, you know, whichever part is having its solo can do that because the other parts are supporting it, right? I mean, that's what. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. If, if it wasn't and playing so, the parts, the finger would be just hanging out right. there. And and so we want to always start with the finger, start with the coherence, and then you know everything else does its thing, and then we finish with the coherence, you know, and uh, the heightened coherence. And the coherence never the coherence never leaves us, but it it's always one more that we can <laughs> we can take it to. Mm. And so with that, you know, we can and I've demonstrated this with, with even just people who've never done anything, you know, just getting getting their arm out there and just getting them to just point and they do nothing else, they have no other idea, but just that one thing, and they can have Pong Jin, just you know, from you know, without knowing anything, they lose it immediately whenever they, you know, they they walk away. It's like what happened there? But in that moment, they've got uh, they've got Pong Jin. They've got ward off power, you know. And so we can, you know, it's like that that volley in tennis, that little that little short shot that you know, yeah, you can you can do it from here. But then you you know, if you want the whole thing together you want the big shot then you got to get get everybody the whole band together you know given that revolution that we so slowly and meticulously monitor this really is a good one for a 24 7 exercise pieces of that Any right little just watching you doing now. that right now is is right is, is really quite quite beautiful it's it's you know i i can feel you know <laughs> your right. your cheat from here Right. It's like, you know, you want to tell the YouTube people, this is this is Rick Barrett Tai Chi. You can be doing it all the time. It's, <laughs> That's right. No, it's, you know, it's, not, it's not 15 minutes you a day. This? It's like, no, no, 100 times a day, just kind of, oh, like that. You know, just that, that, that quiet, soft, simple, oh, that simple movement changes right. your state of being very, very, right. very quickly. Cool. <laughs> As always, cool. <laughs> uh, great. Anybody else? There was, when we were uh, doing the meditation, I had this the weirdest thing. It was like I had we we had my ha our hands out, and there was this weird fluctuation in the energy. It almost felt like a bird flew between my hands. <laughs> like I could physically feel something moving in there. It was wow. It was far. It was only for a second, but it was a bizarre thing. Yeah, that's terrific. That's terrific. My hands weren't talking nicely to each other <laughs> during meditation, but while we were actually doing ward off right, they were a buzzing together. They were, yeah. they were, they were in tune. Nice. <clears throat> And I, you know, it's like, how come they're not talking? <laughs> when we were doing meditation, what, what's going on? <laughs> For whatever reason, I wasn't getting that chatter between the two of them or the connection, but then doing the, the actual movement. Oh, yeah. It was right, right there. It was strong in its very yin way. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Okay. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.